In our previous tutorial, we covered how to add an item to an existing screen. In this lesson, we'll be adding a new screen, attaching it to a menu, and adding a new tax in major and minor categories. First, let's open our menu editor. Previously, we had selected Edit an Order screen to find a previously defined screen. This time, we'll be using the same selection in order to create a brand new order screen. So, we'll select Edit an Order screen, which will bring us to the list of screens. In the previous lesson, we clicked on the previously defined screen. We'll do that now, if only to see the list of items. If I click on Burgers and Sandwiches, I see that one item doesn't belong, the Chicken Parmesan. I want to create a separate Entree screen. I'll click Exit to return to the list of screens, and simply click on the space to the right of a non-defined screen number, here Screen 3. A prompt appears asking me if I want to make this a Daily Special screen, which I will select by clicking the box to the left of Daily Specials. I can choose four or five column screens, which will give me either 44 or 55 cells respectively. I'll select five rows. Finally, I will enter a name for my screen, Entrees. I click OK, and I'm returned to the list of screens. I see my new Entree screen listed now. I will click on it to see my cells. And the first thing that you'll notice different from previous lessons is the list of days with a radio button to the left of them. This is activated when we select the screen as a daily special screen. I can set unique items for different days. By clicking on the radio button beside the different days, I'm essentially selecting one of seven different screens, all called Entrees. We'll add some more items later, but for now, I want to get our chicken parmesan item on this screen. I could, of course, delete the item and add it on this screen, but PosiTouch allows for a shortcut. I will select Copy from the right side of the screen, and I will be shown a list of all the screens currently defined in the database on the left side of the window, and the items on that screen on the right side. You can see how the items on the right change depending on the screen I've selected. Let's return to screen number one, and highlight the chicken parmesan. A 40 appears on the left side of the window, indicating the number of the screen cell that Chicken Parmesan occupies on the Burgers and Sandwiches screen. I will then click OK, and now my Chicken Parmesan appears on the Entree screen in exactly the same way as it does on screen number 1. It will attach itself to whichever screen cell is currently selected, which I can change by clicking on New Screen Cell, say 25, and then clicking Exit. You'll see that the active cell number has changed. I can also select a cell simply by changing that number. Let's make 50 the active cell. If I were to copy the same item again, you'll see that it imports with a smaller button size. If the button on the original screen is too big to fit, PosiTouch will automatically adjust the button size down to accommodate the new button. I can move the button over by using the swap button above the copy function. If I select that, PosiTouch will ask which two cells you want to swap. We'll place this button directly beneath the previous instance of the Chicken Parmesan. So I'll fill in 3 and 50 and select OK. The button has expanded to its original size. If I want to add some space between the two, I would make sure cell 3 is my active cell and then select Insert. Keep in mind this will move every other item down a line. The Remove function works the same way, only in reverse. I make sure cell 3 is my active cell, and click Remove. I can clear multiple cells at once by selecting the Clear Cells function, which gives me a list of all the cells on the screen. By clicking the box to the left of the item, I am telling PosiTouch to remove the item from my screen. We'll select our second instance of the Chicken Parmesan for removal, and select OK. A prompt appears, ensuring that you don't accidentally delete your work, but we'll select Yes. You'll see now that the item is gone. The Sort function is a handy way to sort all of the items on your screen by given parameters. If I go to the Burgers and Sandwiches screen, I find that I can click on Sort by Alphabet, Major and Minor Categories, Prep Category, or where the item will print, or by prep sequence, which we'll look at in a later lesson. I can also set a range of cells to sort on part of the screen. 
we'll sort the first column, or cells 1 through 11. Flagging the Compress option removes any spaces between the buttons for the requested range. We'll leave that alone for now, as our buttons have no spaces. You'll see that my first column of buttons has been sorted alphabetically. Let's return to the Entree screen. Note that by clicking on the days of the week, I'm switching to a blank screen. I have to add items to each individual screen if I set my screen as a daily special. I can use the copy function to make the process a bit easier, however. Let's copy from Sunday to Monday. We will continue our next lesson, defining major and minor categories and defining your taxes.